here we are on our way to go look at another truck which by the way you can get entered to win this one right now fourth gen i like it so guys we're gonna go check this thing out and hopefully it is as described as you guys have seen from my facebook marketplace reaction videos i'm hoping this is not going to be one of those types of experiences where you know you're told one thing and then you see something completely different because you know it just kind of i don't know why people do that sometimes like i don't know if they think they're gonna get away with it like you're not gonna look at the vehicle like when you go this like if i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna i'm gonna come and see the thing you know but uh so we're gonna go check this thing out it's a 2005 or six five or six five nine third gen and i know we've got a third gen right now I totally messed up my hat i know we got a third gen right now but man it's just i really like these trucks like i've i've had a lot of second gens i've done a lot of first gens and I'm just kind of getting a little bit into this third gen kick where I wouldn't mind having another one because they just, they seem to ride good, feel good, and just be a super nice, practical, reliable truck. And with the market right now, it really doesn't matter. It used to be like, oh, third gen's gonna cost you a lot more than a second gen, or second gen's gonna cost you more than a first gen, but now it's like completely reverse. It's like first gens are the most, then there's second gens, then there's third gens. And it's like for the money, for what's the most practical and comfortable and reliable it's just they're just such a good bang for the buck truck i mean they just are legit and that I kind like of it. that kind of rhyme i didn't even <laughs> <laughs> this is a debate you guys better debate in the comments third gens or second gens I'm, I'm really starting to lean towards the third gens my dad had third gen too so his dad did his dad you guys have seen it i mean it was like a g56 six-speed manual fifty-five thousand miles when he bought it i mean i'm talking like a cream pop Green pop truck and uh probably won't ever see another one of those that you uh, never should have sold that thing. <laughs> that's one of those that was a collector's item i mean that's a truck that you could have just kept it parked in the barn and in another five six years it, it was a fifty thousand dollar truck if you just kept miles off it i mean it was like so perfect if it is as described it's a super sweet truck if it's not as described I'll let you know what that is. Look at that truck. Anyways, uh, speaking of guys that are questionable, listen, okay, I I'll just flat out say it. I, I made this whole like 15 minute rant about the truck we looked at yesterday and I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna do a whole 15 minute video on this. Moral of the story is, I don't know if the guy just didn't fully know what he was talking about because he claimed that it was not his truck, it was his brother's truck and he was trying to sell it for him. I don't, I don't know. All I know is I asked him if it was clean and rust free, if it had any paint damage or anything. And I was told it's got one little scratch below the fuel door. But other than that, truck has got zero rust other than a little bit of surface rust on a couple spots of the frame, but no holes anywhere on the underbody either. I get under that thing. It was bad. It was, <laughs> it was so dude, bad. it was like floorboards were about to come either. through on it. The all rockers were gone from the cab corner backside all the way up to the front fender on the backside. It was like bad. Like it was bad, bad. Cab mounts are all crusty, about to come apart. I'm like, dude, this thing is super rusty. And he's like, oh, sorry, I wasted your time. And I'm like, hang him to drive me up here. <laughs> and then you lied to me about everything. I literally asked, is the underside just as clean as the body of the truck? Cause he, you know, the photos were like, the exterior of the truck looked great. You get underneath, it's just lipstick on a pig. The thing is disgusting. It was all rotted. I literally asked you, I was like, I wonder if there's something wrong with this truck that he's just not telling me because he originally had it listed for like 23, five or something. And then he dropped it and then he dropped it and then he dropped it and then he dropped it. And by the time it got down to, I'll just say a certain price. So I'm not too specific, but it seemed like that's a, that's a really good deal on that truck. Yeah. If it's, if it's really rush free and super clean, like he says, like it just seems like if it was for sale for like two or three weeks and it was that that price you would think it'd be gone well we found out why it never sold because it was disgusting underneath yeah. told that it's rust free zero rust no issues doesn't need anything and it's basically on the verge of needing a cab swap i mean it was it was bad oh yeah and i didn't mention that the bed had like 
big chips and you can see all the red paint from the old bed because he had swapped the bed or somebody had swapped the bed at some point because it was probably rusted out which you guys do all the time but the paint on the bed was not the best quality and it was chipping everywhere and you can see bright red paint shining through which wouldn't be a big deal except the truck was a completely different color from red like not even close so like it was very obvious that there were paint chips and it was not the original bed on to new things we're gonna go look at a first gen right now and this thing we're gonna hype this one up too so that way if it's not as nice um we can call this guy a freaking liar too. Listen, I get it. When you're looking at used trucks, you have to expect some of that stuff. But when you're due diligent and you ask questions and people give you answers with complete confidence and they tell you like, no, like you will not find a hole anywhere on the truck and it's completely disgusting and destroyed underneath. And you specifically ask if the underside is clean and they say, oh yeah, I've been under there. It's super clean. And they blatantly lie. I've got a problem with that. If you just don't ask the right questions and you go look at it and it's just not what you expected, that's your own fault. But when you try not to waste your time and try not to waste their time and then they lie, that's where it, you know, I draw the line. I don't like that. That's why people don't like buying used cars. Those are the reasons right there. Shady stuff. Anyways, this first gen, it's a 1990, it's a two wheel drive. It's like a white and, I don't know if it's like a white and navy blue two tone or a white and black two tone. I think it's navy blue. Two wheel drive, but I took a vote on my Instagram. I'm like, even if it's a two wheel drive truck, would you guys still like to see something like that? And you guys, like 70% to 30% were like, absolutely, we'd love to if it's really that clean. So if this truck is like cherry condition, we're gonna buy it. If it's not cherry condition, probably not gonna buy it. You know, the guy says he's middle-aged, he's 55. He's like, I've had the truck for several years now. He said, this thing is nice. He's like, I like my stuff really nice. He's like, if it's got any issues, I'm super nitpicky about making sure that stuff is like meticulous about making sure that stuff's like fixed. And he's like, I've redone. He's like, I spent more time like replacing parts that didn't even need replaced than I have actually driving the thing. He's like, I put a few hundred miles on it in the last couple of years. And he's like, I've replaced all the brakes, all the lines and all like all kinds of stuff, full interiors redone. I mean, the th he's like, the thing is about as nice as you're ever gonna find. He sent me photos underneath. You know, he's like, I'll prove to you it's clean and all this stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I've seen enough. I'll drive the hour. Sounds like it's a pretty good deal, but it is hard to want to get myself to pay for a two wheel drive first gen, basically what you can pay for a clean four wheel drive third gen or second gen. But that's just the market for those things. And we haven't had a first gen in a long time because they are just getting so hard to find and they're just all rotted out at this point. It seems like everything around us, at least like they're just rotted out piles of crap. And uh, it's been a while since we found a clean one. and. Every once in a while I find a clean two-wheel drive and I just go, man, I don't know if anybody wants to see a clean two-wheel drive. If it's, if it's not four-wheel, I don't think anybody wants to see it. We're gonna see what this is about and hopefully it's a good buy. So here we are in this first gen. I mean, oh my, oh dude. Oh dude, this is it. Beautiful. This is it. He's the perfect this guy. This is the one, man. He's a perfect guy too. He's the type of guy you wanna buy one from. Yep. He's a straight shooter. Dude, this dude's just, like, I'm legit. Like, no bull crap, he's like, I'm an old guy. I keep my stuff freaking nice. He's like, honestly, this isn't a perfect person in my opinion because I'm just so freaking picky. And there's like four little paint chips on it, <laughs> and they're like little too. But he's like, it's. He's like, but I'll be honest, it's probably the nicest two wheel drive you're gonna find. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I believe it. So, anyways, let's get on back and let's let's make a deal on this Joker. Well, I've been driving this thing for the past hour, and I can just tell you, this guy has this thing perfect. I mean, couldn't have found the more perfect two-wheel drive first gen. It's perfectly clean, and any weird little quirky thing that needed to be fixed, he fixed it and replaced it with all new, like, OEM stuff. I mean, it's super nice. The only thing that's, like, aftermarket is the wheels and tires, exhaust, and then the gauges. But other than that, I mean, he replaced so much stuff on this, even, you could just tell he was the type of guy that's like, even if it doesn't need replaced, I'm gonna replace it way in advance just because I don't want any parts to be old and wore out on the thing. So like he replaced like all the suspension components and he replaced all the brake lines and he replaced all the brakes and all the stuff. And like, he never even drove the truck enough to have to deal with any of that stuff, but he replaced it all anyway. And everything is very tastefully done. Like you can just tell he was just this middle-aged guy that really liked to pamper his stuff and keep it like top condition. And this thing is literally perfect. I mean, you couldn't have found a better perfect first gen in the state of Ohio. I mean, this thing is super nice. Which if you remember way back to the very first video we ever 
were posted, which by the way, if you watch the LNP rerun YouTube channel, you can see all of our oldest YouTube videos from start to finish. Our first first gen that we ever bought was also in Ohio, and the big red first gen I bought after that was also in Ohio. We've bought a lot of first gens out of Ohio over the years, and it's kind of surprising, but for some reason, there just seems to be a lot of these things hidden in barns around here, so I'll take it though. I mean, one hour drive, super clean first gen, couldn't have asked for a better situation. This thing is just so cherry. <laughs> it literally runs awesome. 140,000 miles. So it's got 140 on it. This thing is like, this thing is just, it's almost too nice. I mean, it's really clean. Oh, it's so hard to find them like this. I'm that dude, but I see you from the top, yeah, real soon. Looking down on the haters that I've been through. Told them I'll see you when you get big tools. I keep a real good pace. With the big house, damn, look at that place. Up in my mind, cause that's my space. I'm so big for the positive things. And I can't be sure, cause I ain't no work, man, I want the work. Now I teach how to cook them beasts, I look, making these look good. I just want trophies, blacks for the whole road, if you know me. Got a gold record on the wall, it's close, he got that record all alone, night lonely. I'm just sick of waiting, cause I feel this frustrating when I always do the hours in. Ain't nobody wanna recognize independence, it threatens their account, man So I chase that bag, trophies are dope, but I'd rather have cash Sitting in the bank, cause I paid my tax Living my life, my way, my path, I go Move fast, move fast, anyone who ain't hitting full gas Who that choose that hard work, that wins true facts I'ma go big, grind hard, throw a few jazz Big hook next to the dome, knock her straight back down to the floor Anyone in my way smacked, I don't take bad thoughts, no I remove that, my team got good minds, I can prove that chasing, I got these dreams that I've been chasing I got some things I've been upgraded. No one can stop me from this craving. Chasing. I got these dreams that I've been chasing. I got some things I've been upgraded. No one can stop me from this craving. You'll see me at the top one day. Yo, when it ain't toxic, shut your mouth and pick a different topic. Taking off like a rocket, got that energy, you can call me socket. Doing that boss all I do is focus. Gotta love that. Here it is. Let's get him a view from the front while we go over some of the deets on this thing. Thing is gorgeous. So guys, it is a 1990 Dodge D250. The thing is super super clean so for the rest of this video we've already got a lot of footage that i added together to make this vlog but we're going to show you around this thing we're not going to go into every single spec and detail and all that i mean there's not tons of features on these trucks as it is they're pretty simple but we're at least going to show you around this whole thing which by the way you can now enter to win this thing and it also will come with five thousand dollars cash so right now when you place an order at lmpgear.com for the last was it, 48 hours left for this giveaway right here show them this truck not only are you going to get 30 entries for every one dollar you spend into this giveaway, but you're also going to get 30x entries into this giveaway right here. So two trucks, two winners, double bonus period. It's freaking sick, but only three days total to get in on that. But like I said, this thing is super clean. So we're going to show you around this thing. It's got the Ram emblem on the hood, which, you know, it's kind of hard to find. Usually they're always either broken off or taken off, and then the whole hood is just flush with nothing on it. Uh, so it's got the 1990 front end because I think it was either 90, I think it was 91 when they changed the front end of these things to the later front end style of the first shins. Um, but the guy that we bought this from, little backstory, he owned it for several years, but he replaced all kinds of stuff on this thing. And I kind of mentioned it in the video, like he replaced stuff that didn't even need to be replaced, but it was just kind of like, I like my stuff super nice. So I'm going to replace everything before it needs replaced kind of like preventative and uh some of it's just because he likes stuff nice he put new bumpers front and rear he did like new inserts he did new amber um, turn signal lights new led bulbs in here he put brand new mickey thompson tires on this and honestly guys i saw this truck and it is a two-wheel drive truck 
and I like the way that it's set up, and I thought this would be something we've never done before. We've never done something out of several wheels and tires like this, ever. And this thing was just so like clean, the way that the guy put it together. And I thought, you know what? If that guy put this truck together this specific way, and he was super particular about his stuff, and he was super proud of these wheels and tires, by the way. He's like, I only do top of the line stuff, you know? So I got Dick Sepik rims on there, Mickey Thompson tires. I mean, top shelf, top quality. You know, so we've never done something in this fashion. So we're gonna roll with this because it is all brand new. He said there's not even a hundred miles on the wheels and tires themselves. We've got brand new shocks all the way around on the thing. He did brand new brakes all, all the way around on this thing, new brake lines. He did like some new, all new AC components, all new heater components, heater core and all that stuff, which is super sick. Looks awesome, everything works. Brand new tawny cover. Again, he did all kinds of, he had the truck for several years and he's like, I put like less than 400 miles on it in all the years that he had it because he had a bunch of Mercedes Benz and so he, he never really drove the first gen. But uh, he made it really nice. So new bed cover, he did tint, but he didn't do anything crazy. I think it's like a 20%. So it's dark enough to break up your silhouette in the truck, but it's not so dark that you're gonna get pulled over in most states it's, it should be legal the two-tone is not original on this truck though so it's actually it was actually just a solid white truck and then they added the two-tone once he had some stuff redone on it, some paint stuff and looks really good it's kind of like that they went with like that mopar the old school mopar blue and white theme which if you look at well this place doesn't have it but you know the, the classic mopar blue and white theme it's kind of like what they went with on the structure the whole thing was around that theme and the guy's whole garage, Ty didn't see it, but I did. His whole garage connected to his house was this two color combo theme. Like the whole thing was like Mopar blue and white with Mopar, you know, neon signs and all of his ceiling fans were all Mopar fans. With It, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty, very particular with his styling in his garage. But so that's pretty cool. It's got a stainless steel four inch MBRP exhaust turbo back with a muffler though, which I'm actually gonna keep on this truck because I had a first gen with a straight pipe and no muffler before and the thing was just so freaking loud it was terrible it was it was so loud you hated to drive it i had this thing going anywhere between 60 and 75 on the highway on my way back and it was it was great and it wasn't like so loud that you're like hating yourself for driving the thing and buying it um, it was actually very comfortable and tolerable brand new tail lights on the thing with new bezels on both sides and uh, like I said, brand new bumper on the rear. Thing is super nice. Brand new tow package. The tow package is brand new also on this truck. The interior is also super clean on this truck. This is probably my favorite part, honestly. Yeah, so you go into the interior and he redid, sorry about our little muddy <laughs> footprint mess, but this thing was literally so spotless. So brand new bench upholstery work, custom center console cup holder with this like fabricated like arch platform that it sits on down there so that it doesn't slide back and forth off of that center hump but you can take it out if you want um but that keeps it from sliding around with like a homemade little center console box pretty cool uh it does have the radio with bluetooth and all that stuff put in there that's like the only thing that and the gauges if you check out the gauges up here that and the gauges are the only thing aftermarket about the interior for the most part that's like you know did not come like that at all. For the most part, all the paneling, he got like new paneling and he painted some stuff. Um, but for the most part, it was all like redone to like either OEM or like OEM plus. Like if you could have gotten it a little bit nicer for the model that this truck was, that's kind of like the theme that he went with. He didn't do anything like crazy. There is a, did he say a 12 inch sub or a 10 inch or mm -hmm. 12 inch sub either under the seat or behind it? It is underneath it. But he said it wasn't like too crazy, you know. No, it's not ridiculous. It doesn't like rattle the glass. I mean, it, it's it's just very subtle. So like most of you guys would probably appreciate that type of a sound system. It's not ridiculous. Everything works. I mean, everything in the truck works. It's got, I think I already told you guys, a whopping one hundred and forty thousand miles on it. Which, if you were comparing that to like a new truck, you would think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of miles. But this thing is thirty three, thirty four years old. It's pretty old and it does work the mileage does click up i mean it does count up and you can reset your trip and everything else and track your trip mileage and stuff like that. it all works everything on the thing works all the gauges all the dash gauges all the switches i mean all the levers everything functions it comes down and when it goes up 
it like locks in, it stays up. It doesn't like rattle down on your way down the highway, which I know that a lot of these, like the components kind of get wore out and the seals and stuff, and then it doesn't really work. He did do new like weather stripping all along the interior of the cab too on both sides to kind of help keep down on the wind noise when you're going down the road. Just all the small stuff. New headliner. Did you show the headliner? The headliner's brand new. Um, brand new headliner, brand new visors. I mean, brand new trim pieces with new screws, new hardware. It's pretty legit. It's pretty legit. And even the sill plates were brand new too. Brand new chrome sill plates. You know, so it's it's pretty, it's pretty nice. So that's gonna be it for this video. We do have a part two, kind of, we're gonna be making for the next one. We're gonna go through some more of the specifics on this truck, but bottom line is it's super clean. There's zero rust. The paint is super, super nice on the thing. Interior super mint. Everything works, operates, it's low miles, it's nice. And you can enter to win this thing along with that one right there. When you place an order, lmpgear.com, it's our highest entry multiplier. Our best bonuses are live right now and your best opportunity at winning a truck because when you place an order for one, you're getting the same amount of entries into both giveaways, which is pretty much a buy one giveaway. It's pretty legit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Comment down below if you're pretty excited about this first gen because I know I am. They're just getting really hard to find. So to find one like this, it's pretty sweet. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.